another episode of Positive Vibes. So I just wanted to come on here really, really quickly and just talk to you guys um, just to encourage, just to give a little bit of an encouragement. Um, this week, I have been going through mentally a lot, um, good and, and crazy sometimes. <laughs> when I say crazy, I don't mean like crazy off the ledge type thing, but I mean just like I've been mentally tired. And, um, you know, I, I took a couple of days. You guys may have noticed I have not uploaded since Tuesday because I did take a couple of days just to get mentally stable. I was extremely tired and it was due to a lack of sleep. I really wasn't getting that much sleep because um, most of you do know, or if you don't know, I do have a child that has um, special needs. She has Down syndrome, she's 14. And um, her sleep pattern sometimes is sporadic. It is off the charts. Sometimes she sleeps throughout the night and sometimes she doesn't. Um, it's that of like an infant, right? I feel like I'm still going through the 2 a.m., 3 a.m. feedings sometimes. But um, so that's the reason I haven't been on um, for a couple of days. And I just decided to just take a mental break because sometimes when you are not sleeping well and when it's just busy 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 going 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 you don't take that time out to just come down and relax your mind and rest your brain and catch up on some sleep it can take you to a place that you don't want to go to and i started feeling myself getting like fatigued and irritable and i just was exhausted and i just was just like you know what i need to take a mental break and I need to stop, slow down, and just, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. Um, so let's go back. So Tuesday night, um, my daughter, she did not sleep well at all. Um, and I think it was partially my fault, <laughs> really, because she came home from school on Tuesday, and she was exhausted because when she's at school she does a lot she does a lot of physical therapy and occupational and all those things and so she gets drained easily and so she was exhausted so whenever she does come home from school if she wants to take a nap i do allow her to take a nap um and then i wake her up at a certain point so that i know that when it comes time for bedtime she'll be able to go back to, to sleep um you know for her bedtime and so on tuesday i did not wake her up because I had some work that I needed to get done. I had some things that I was doing in the house. And then, you know, I was trying to clean and cook and do all that good stuff. And so it's really the time kind of just slipped away from me. And by the time I looked up, it was like already after 10. So she was still sleeping. Okay. She gets home at about 2.15, 2.25. And so, um she was still sleeping at like after 10 and i was just like okay well maybe she's gonna go sleep throughout the rest of the night because normally when she takes a nap throughout the day even if i don't wake her up she does get up a little bit earlier and i was just like maybe she's going to sleep throughout the night so i didn't even bother to mess with her or anything like that so i said let me just lay down and just watch a movie and just relax. So I was in the living room, my other two children, they were in bed, my husband was away um, at work and I was just like, okay, I'm going to just relax, watch a movie and or catch up on, my, on some vlogs, which is what I was doing. And I fell asleep, I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> so I fell asleep on the couch and about quarter to 12, homegirl decided to get up, okay? She got up, she came downstairs and she was in the refrigerator, <laughs> she was in the kitchen, she was taking the juice out, she was taking the grapes out, she was taking all matters of stuff. She took the bananas and she was crushing the bananas up and it was all over the floor and I was just like, oh my gosh. So I heard her voice and I was like, okay, she's up. So then she came to me, she said, mommy, mommy, I pee again. So that meant she needed to be changed. So she walked into the living room and I said, okay, come on, let's go change. And I got up, right? I jumped up out of my sleep because the moment I hear noise, 
I automatically get like I am not a deep sleeper whatsoever so the moment I hear noise I automatically get up so I got up and when she came into the living room I said let's go change we went and we changed her and everything and she was up so she didn't eat dinner or anything like that so I said let me just go in the refrigerator I know it's after 12 so I, I gave her something light I made her a turkey sandwich um, and I gave her some juice to drink she was good with that I gave her some blueberries and she was just like all done no more so then she didn't want to go back to sleep obviously because she slept since she got home <laughs> she slept for what seven hours so I was just like oh my gosh she's gonna be up for the whole night and I am exhausted already right I must have slept for maybe 45 minutes <sighs> so she was up from about quarter to 11 until 6 30 a.m straight like she did not go back to sleep until 6 30 a.m so i was up the whole time with her because i had to monitor her to make sure she wasn't getting into anything crazy and everybody else was still sleeping so i didn't want to wake anyone else up so i made sure i closed their my kids my other two children their bedroom doors I put her in her room, I turned on her Yo Gabba Gabba, and she was watching, she was singing, she was dancing, she was making all sorts of noises. And so I went back downstairs and I was like, okay, she's in her room, maybe I can just doze off a little bit, you know, because my eyes is like burning and it's like, I can see my eye bags down to my cheekbones. And I was so tired, oh my gosh, I was so exhausted. So she did not stay in her room, not one time. She wanted to be where I was at, so she came downstairs she came in the living room and i turned the tv on i put on yo gabba gabba in the living room i went upstairs turned her television off and then came back downstairs in the living room she was standing in front of the television singing dancing this was like throughout the course of the night from midnight to 6 30 a.m okay so the whole time i was just like okay nyla do you want to go back to bed nyla do you want to go back to bed and she's like no i said nyla do you want to go back to bed no i said okay mommy needs to get some sleep because i'm tired honey you gotta go back to bed or just go relax in your room no she didn't want to do any of that so then she sat on the couch and she was playing with her little bobo her little twirly and i just was sitting there looking just looking in the ceiling like this is crazy i am operating off of 45 minutes of sleep for the entire 24 hours I've been up for 24 hours and she did not go to sleep she went back to sleep at 6 30 in the couch um she has to be up for, for six o'clock so that I can get her dressed it takes me about a good 45 minutes to get her dressed brush her teeth give her some breakfast and get her ready for her bus her bus comes at seven o'clock in the morning however she did not wake up at 6.30. So I just let her sleep and I called her bus company and I told them, I said, listen, don't pick her up. I'll take her in because she's sleeping and she's just she just went back to bed. So they said, no problem. Um, so she slept. So I, my son got dressed and we had to get him to school and everything. And so when we got her up, <laughs> she it was like after seven he has to be at school for eight so it was after seven um when she finally got up so i got her dressed and everything like that and that was done so throughout the course of the day what all three of them went to school my husband came home and i was so tired and i knew i had obligations to take care of i had deadlines that i had to meet but I was so exhausted that I mentally could not do anything. Like I literally had to take the time to just sleep. And my husband was just like, babe, just go take a nap. Go upstairs and go take a nap. And I was just like, okay. So I went upstairs, I set myself my time and I said, okay, I'm gonna take at least two hours, go to sleep and then I'll wake up, y'all. I went upstairs, I slept. It was after one in the afternoon that I got up. I went to sleep at about after nine. And I got up after one in the afternoon on Wednesday, okay? When I tell you, my kids had to, they 
my Nyla gets out of school for at 225. I didn't wake up until like I think it was like quarter to two that I woke up. I was so tired. And during that course of the night, I was thinking like thoughts that was just, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna make my deadline. I'm never gonna do this. I'm never gonna, you know, and then the enemy starts to talk to you and start to make you think like you're crazy, right? So you're never gonna be anything in life. You're never gonna do anything in life. You're, you know, where you are right now is where you're always going to be and you're never gonna accomplish anything. And you know, you think that the gift that you have inside of you is good. Like all these crazy thoughts start to come to my mind and I literally had to fight to get those thoughts, to pull those thoughts down and I literally had to fight to take a nap, to go to sleep because the thoughts was just running rampant in my mind, right? So I'm here just to tell you that whenever you don't sleep, I'm telling you, this is like a real thing, whenever you don't sleep, that is your weakness, your weakest time because the enemy comes in with floods of thoughts, negative, odious, nastiest thoughts, thoughts of like crippling thoughts and thoughts of death and thoughts of just, it's just crazy that make you think that you're not going to become what God has called you to become. And I just, I just started feeling like sad and, you know, like not motivated and like, a spirit of de depression tried to creep up on me. And I was like, you know what? I need to sleep. I need to go to sleep. And I was just like, you know what? I said, Lord, touch my thoughts. Cancel these thoughts right now because I'm going to sleep. That's exactly what I said. I said, I'm going to sleep. In the name of Jesus, I am going to sleep. And that's how I was able to go to sleep. But I just want to come on here and tell y'all that as a mom, as a parent, I know it's tough i know it's hard because you are doing so much throughout the day um and especially if you are a stay-at-home working parent you're doing so much throughout the day that sometimes it can like it really can weigh on you and i've had people say to me you know i don't know how you could be a stay-at-home mom i couldn't do it and you know stay-at-home moms, you know, y'all don't do nothing. All y'all do is stay home and sit down and not work and do all this stuff. And I'm, that can take a toll on you. And so I was just like, well, dang, am I just a stay-at-home mom? Like that was a question and the thoughts that was running in my head. And I'm like, am I just a stay-at-home mom? And that was the point when I knew I needed to, to get some sleep because now I, I'm starting to talk crazy to myself and I'm starting to cancel out the good things that God has for me. So I had to go and take a nap, right? Did that, took a nap. Wednesday was the same thing. She did not, she came home, she didn't take a nap, but she slept and then she woke up like after one in the morning. And I'm just like, Nyla, why do you keep getting up one o'clock in the morning like what is on your agenda you are not missing anything it is dark outside okay the sun is not shining go to sleep luckily this time she stayed in her room she watched her yo gabba gabba and she did go back to sleep at about after four so i was able to go back to sleep but then i got back up like after five so that was that and then um Thursday, Thursday, she woke up at one o'clock in the morning again. So I was able to say, I said, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed Wednesday night. I'm going to go to bed early. So Wednesday night, I went to bed after nine and she got up after one. So I was able with those, you know, three hours of sleep. Um, I was or three, four hours. I was able to counteract that with her getting up at one i caught four hours of sleep so i was able to be up with her but by the time i was up with her she fell back to sleep after three and i was still up <laughs> so i was still tired okay i was still tired you know so i just want to come on here and encourage you and let you know that if you're dealing with sleep deprivation deprivation you're not the only one you are not going through it alone okay and that was just one kid i have three <laughs> and a husband <laughs> and a business 
and you know ministries that we're running so it's like there is so much throughout the day that we are doing and i just want to take the time to just tell you take time out sleep rest because when you don't sleep when you don't get any rest the body let me tell you the body goes into like a situation of just depression and feeling negative and feeling tired and exhausted and feeling like you just you just want to check out i'm telling you because your brain starts to feel like woozy and you start to feel lightheaded your body starts to get sick sleep get some rest that's my message for you today on positive vibes sleep get some rest you need it we need it our kids need it have a bedtime routine my children they have a bedtime routine but Nyla's her sleep pattern is ridiculous it's all over the place and so that is my message for you today sleep and get some rest so that your mind can be at peace so that your body can be at peace so that you can think sharply and you can do things that you need to get done throughout the day so that you can be productive right so i was not productive and i even said to my son i think it was this morning i said to him i just feel so unproductive this week because i didn't get anything done i slept and i felt guilty for sleeping throughout i did i felt guilty because normally i don't i don't take naps throughout the day because i'm constantly working constantly going so I felt so guilty to take a nap. Why do we feel guilty to take a nap throughout the day? When studies does show that taking at least a half an hour nap, it makes you feel so much more better and so much more energized and more productive. But y'all, I felt so guilty just sleeping throughout the day, but it felt so good to just take a nap. And so I just wanted to come on here and just tell you that and just tell you to be encouraged you know there is no rule book there is no parenting handbook um to tell you how to be a great parent there is no book that tell you how to raise your children except the bible obviously it gives you blueprint and guidelines train up a child the way that he should go um but i'm talking about like there's no everyday guidelines that tell you okay do this and do that get them to bed at this time cook dinner whatever whatever there's no manual there's no script we're kind of just just going just going throughout the day right every parent is is doing it every good parent that want to see their children succeed is is going through that right so i just want to encourage you today fams to take some time out sleep get yourself some rest rest your body rest your mind don't worry whatever cannot get done just don't get it done it's okay if laundry is piling up let it pile up let it pile up if you don't cook it's okay it's okay there's food in the refrigerator your kids are old enough they can fend for themselves it's all right okay so take some time out take today to enjoy the day and get some sleep go to bed early at night wake up early in the morning if you need to but go to bed early at night so that you can wake up early and be productive right and just enjoy enjoy your rest Enjoy your rest because you can be sleeping but not getting rest, right? So enjoy your rest and rest in God. Learn to rest in Him because in Him we have peace. In Him we have solitude. In Him we have fortitude. In Him we have life, all right? So learn to rest in Him. Give Him your burdens. He take up he'll you know take up his yoke because it's easy and it's light and give him whatever situations and circumstances you are going through and feeling in your life let your daily life be for god live for him do everything in him and he will lead you through so that is my encouragement for you today fams just go to sleep <laughs> it's as simple as that go to sleep all right if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i would love for you to go ahead and do so it's always free also hit that bell for new notifications double tap it so that you get all my notifications that's my boy right there um <laughs> that's my qbz and um don't forget to leave comments down below all right and let me know what you guys think about this topic this topic on going to sleep 
getting rest and taking naps. Let me know what y'all think about this topic. Let's start a conversation. I would love to know what you guys, um, how, what your stances are on that topic. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget that Jesus is Lord, that he loves you, and I love you too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.